Hey besties, it's Newt, back again in March. That's right, as you can tell by the grass, we are finally out of the dregs of winter. I, like I said, I kept my promise I was going to time travel out of winter as soon as I played my birthday, and I have done that. Uh, as, as you can also see, we are on my beautiful, gorgeous farm. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually made this farm off camera because I made a video of me renovating my farm. Uh, and then I immediately changed all of it uh, because I am incredibly indecisive and uh, cannot keep my island in one specific way for too long or uh, I will impulsively change it again. So that's what we're doing today, actually. Spring has sprung and we're going to start it off by renovating my farm. I'm very excited to share it with you. I actually saw, once again, this gorgeous... I don't know if I'll include a picture because it was like a it was like a screenshot that I took during a stream. But Diana Daisies, uh, who as you know I'm a big fan of, she is currently working on a Huga inspired island called Milkweed over on her Twitch, which I'll have linked in the description. Very gorgeous, very stunning. And she has this beautiful tulip field that's like surrounded by a picket fence and you have like little picnic areas in front of it that you can sort of use to view the tulip field and it's full of houses and it's very scenic and beautiful. And I want to create something similar to that where it's the way that my house is right now, but with like more visual interest, if that makes sense. So that is what we're going to do today. So if you love a little, a little landscaping, a little terraforming, some moving, some buildings, sit back relax get yourself something to drink and let's jump right into it Ooh, but before we go before we go let's just let's just take a moment to bask in the beauty of my current farm which i do think is very good we won't be seeing her anymore so enjoy her while she lasts okay on to the video hey again besties it's a voiceover not we're just starting with like a cute little demolition moment um i was so mellow in that intro what was going on with me i was i was just chilling um, uh, something, uh, you may have noticed about this build is that it, uh, I don't know for sure yet, but it is likely extremely long because it took me forever, but I am like so pleased with it. Like I, it came out like so close to the exact vision I had in my mind and I'm just like, I'm, I'm pleased as punch. I love it. I, I, I think it's absolutely serve of the century, like adorable little farmhouse in the ocean, like in a field of flowers uh extremely aesthetic uh there are little things that i can already see myself adjusting like in the future but for the most part i think that she's like the way that she's gonna be you know and as someone who is notoriously indecisive about their island i feel like this is a big win for me you know like i've finally done something that feels semi-permanent <laughs> Uh, I do mention the outro like exact things of like, oh, I'd change this, I'd change that. I'll probably end up changing more. Let's be honest, besties. You know me. I, I'm the indecisive queen. I, I hate things changing, but I also hate things staying the same. You know, that's my issue to deal with in the future. Future me can deal with that. Something else you may have noticed is that I changed my road code. I changed it to uh, a code. I'll put it in the description. I ended up switching from Collins Road to this road just because Collins Road is extremely like neat and tidy and that's perfect like it looks great like it looks incredible but it was just not like what my island needed so I switched over to this one and I'm really enjoying it. I'm still using Collins sidewalks though because they work really well with this code also. So we have that. Speaking of roads though, you're going to probably hear more road noise than normal in this voiceover because I'm recording this in the middle of the day. Uh, and everyone in Atlanta is out to get me and ruin my recording. So here we are. We just enjoy it. It's it's like ambiance, you know? It's like a little piece of my incredibly loud world that I live in. But yeah, I'll explain a little bit more what I'm doing with this road in a second, extending it. But we are about to witness this truly transcendent conversation between Marshall and Genji, where Marshall invites him to play as what I'm assuming in the context of how he's explaining it is his romantic lead in a film don't honk at me don't honk at me when i'm talking about marshall and genji that's so rude in a film where marshall plays a, a washed up bowling star and genji plays his new coach uh, and i suggested that that he play the coach because i'm like wow this is like a rom-com in the making marshall's a genius he might not know what bowling is but he is a genius uh, 
I, I'll actually, you know what, I'll talk about the Marshall Genji Coco fuchsia drama a little bit and bow. We have a bow update, okay besties? Actually, you know what, I'll insert the clip right now. As you can see by this absolutely shocking footage, Bo hosted my birthday party this year. You guys aren't gonna believe this when you see this. Okay, also the, the way that all the objects popped in, that's so funny. I was flabbergasted by this. My jaw hit the floor, absolutely shocked. I had no idea Bo of all people was going to host my birthday for me. I just like, I couldn't believe, like, look at this. Uh, we're in his house with Maddie and Butch, who you know I love. That's, that's, that's Bestie and my dad right there having a party. And he gave me a gift and like, I just can't believe it. So Bo and I no longer enemies. Uh, we're friends now. I'm gonna have to remove that picture of him from my bathroom because he no longer belongs above the toilet. He is my best friend now, I love him. Uh, does that mean that I am going to change uh, the character that I created for him for my Sims Let's Play? Absolutely not. He's still going to be a menace to society in that series. But for now, Bo and I are, Bo and I are friends again I'm, and I'm happy about it. See, as much as I might act like it, I'm not a person who enjoys conflict or having enemies. You know, that's for other people uh, and for me to watch from afar and enjoy as entertainment. Uh, hence Marshall Genji Coco Fuchsia, as we all know. But me and Bo, you know, it had to come to an end eventually. It was either going to end with him leaving the island, which I really, you know, I hate to see a villager go. I am very, I'm very possessive of my villagers. Uh, but I'm glad it ended the way it did. He really made it up to me for all of that fake art that he sent me in the mail and all that loitering he did. But yeah, as you can see here, the build is taking shape. Uh, I extended the road all the way to the edge of my island, which I'm very pleased with. So now this road at the front of my island essentially goes from edge to edge, like all the way from my house to Kiki's house. I'm really excited about that. I feel like it's a, like a big feature on my island. Um, and essentially what I wanted was uh, like the road to be going past my house and then to have just like a field of flowers behind a fence. That's like, that was the vision in my brain. So that is essentially what is starting right now. Uh, I'm gonna move my house. There's a lot of moving my house around in this video. I think I moved it twice. And then I also moved the museum towards the end of the video just to get it out of the way. We're gonna do, we're gonna fix up the museum and have a whole thing with that in like the semi near future. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, but right now is here and now, and here and now we're talking about uh, Coco and Marshall. Now I have more shocking footage to show you. Uh, if I can insert it right now, I will, or at least like a photo or something um, of them next to each other watching KK Slider. Like what's going on? Am I in an alternate dimension? Like Genji and Marshall are like flirting again, like properly flirting and, and Coco and Marshall are hanging out and like being normal and Bo is treating me with respect and decency. Like, where am I? This isn't my island. Where am I? This is this is someone else's island. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but yeah, that is the little update. I, needless to say, I'm just as surprised as you are, besties. I really am. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the update on the drama so far. Oh, there's CJ. Um, a certain, like I said before with Bo, uh, the drama will be back with The Sims uh, Let's Play, but for now, uh, the drama on my island appears to be on hiatus, which I, you know, what, like I said, I'm happy about because I need to get back to building. Okay, I don't have time for, I don't have time for relationship stuff right now. It's none of my business. Oh, I was moving my house. I was moving my house. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, first of all, you know what's dumb? Why is it when you move your house, it's in a different part of the menu than moving the rest of the buildings on your island? That's silly. That's silly, Tom Nook. Here I was using this in-game path to mark where I wanted the edge of my house to be because I'm a big brain genius and I uh, need to have a visual of where I'm gonna put my house. I wanted it to be aligned with the edge of the road, but I just wanted it to be like, ooh, my voice, oh my God. <laughs> I wanted it to be like farther back, as you can tell. And I, I adjusted it several times. Uh, but we eventually get to uh, it to a place where I'm pleased with it uh, But it takes me a second. So bear with me besties. We'll get there eventually 
Ooh, and another one of the genius big brain things that I did was I put this little clover on the ground so I could remember exactly where I was standing when I, I had the correct like depth for the house. So I remembered like, oh, this is where I want it to go. I just have to move some things because I'm a big brain genius, as, as we all know. Uh, uh, winter has really stifled my creativity and I'm glad that we've moved on from that. You know, you know, besties. I, you know, I will say, even though I am a big brain genius, I did end up moving the house one space back from this. Oh yeah, this was like in my in-between time traveling where I had to move the house again. Oh, oh my god, oh, look at this! Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that. She did that of her own volition. The AI is listening to me. I am concerned. Anyways, um... <laughs> Yes, I had to move the house multiple times. I was stunting trees over there. I wanted the trees to be smaller towards the edge of the little cluster of trees. I thought that that made sense. Uh, now the house is in the correct spot and it is snowing. Uh, snowing? Oh my god, my brain is poisoned by winter. It's raining and that looks gorgeous. Don't, don't pretend like it doesn't because it does. I might put a windmill back in the middle of the field now that I think about it because that was kind of gorgeous and stunning. But yeah that's that is where the house is gonna go and now i have to figure out all the other parts of this build that i was procrastinating on figuring out and doing not just for all of this past week but also all of winter speaking of procrastinating can i tell you a secret besties a few minutes ago back in the recording there was a time jump of like two days you would have no idea because i'm i'm just such a such a sneaky sneaky little guy you would never would have known um <laughs> that I had stopped recording for like two days and then came back. Oh yeah, I'm putting my car down. That's like my reference for like where my quote unquote driveway is. It's just a dirt path, but uh, where the car drove through the field, but it's a driveway. Uh, sort of like what I had before uh, with my uh, car in the middle of the field. I don't know why those middle pieces like don't line up properly. I'm gonna have to look into that because I've used this path before obviously and I switch it to the winter one and then I switch back to this and then all of a sudden it's not lining up anymore and I don't know why but it it, and it doesn't really matter that much it 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 from a, it only looks weird if you look really close at it so it's fine anyways uh but yes there was a huge time jump of like two days uh speaking of procrastination <laughs> um I should have planned ahead better for it being my birthday uh, I did not, obviously. Uh, I was like, oh, it, you know, I'll, I'll just work all, I would, I'll just work all the way up until the day before my birthday and then celebrate my birthday and then just go back to working normally. Why would I do that? Why would, what would compel me to do a three hour live stream the day before my birthday and then celebrate my birthday on Sunday and then go back to working? Why? So uh, that's my way of saying that uh, I'm aware that I skipped the Wednesday video. Initially, this was going to be like a Thursday video and I was going to be like, sorry, the video is late. But then I had an epiphany that I'm just going to stop apologizing when videos are late, at least not in the voiceover. I might apologize in the comments or something. I don't know. But I was like, you know what? I just should, should stop apologizing for my videos being late because the only one keeping a schedule is me. And I'm, I'm, so I'm going to keep a schedule because... I need that reinforcement in my life or I'll never post anything ever and I'll be a uh, very, I'll, I'll be a, a super duper perfectionist and I'll be nervous about, about posting and I'll never get anything done. So I have to have a schedule, uh, even if I don't always keep it. So, you know, I'm still going to post when day, when, when days, not when days, besties, Wednesdays and Saturdays most of the time. Uh, but uh, I think that it's more important to me to make builds that I'm proud of in some way, whether that's because I, th I think the build itself is really good, or I think I learned something really interesting while I was doing it, or uh, I talk about something in the voiceover that I think is really uh, substantial or entertaining in some way, uh, and that is more important necessarily than than hitting the deadline that I set for myself 100% of the time, if that makes sense. Angry Coconut literally like posted a video about this exact concept right as I was having my like small crisis. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also doing that because I also was a dummy who was, who was like, I should, I should post, I should go back to working right after my birthday. Why would I, why, why would I do that? I moved my boat also, as you can see. 
I'm gonna that area turns out super duper cute and I also got rid of that dirt swirly thing and I move it to the left near my carrot patch yes my carrot patch uh, I'm gonna move the farm to Butch's house because I have come to the conclusion I hate when I have to plant the weeds over and over again it's so annoying anyways I have come to the conclusion that I am not a farmer uh, as much as Animal Crossing is a fantasy and I could be a farmer if I wanted to be it's just not for me besties I'm gonna have Butch do it um, I originally wanted his house to be like a garbage dump because I thought that that would be cute and a good throwback to the original Animal Crossing, but we'll see. It might still be a garbage dump. I might put the farm somewhere else. I might have like a community garden. I might give it to Fuchsia because she likes to garden, but she's more into flowers. So I don't really know. Oh yeah, here I was um, organizing my flowers so that they would duplicate in ways that were useful to me before I time traveled to the next day when it's not raining anymore. So <laughs> the build is the build is more pleasing to watch. And I'm quite uh, happy with how it came out. Uh, I got a couple of yellow ones, which is always annoying, but it is what it is. And I got a ton of blue ones. I am way behind on blue hyacinths, besties. I have so many purple hyacinths. Oh, important, important note. Uh, another thing, I've been planning on making a video of like how I make money in Animal Crossing uh, for a while now because I, <laughs> I've never used like a treasure island before. I have nothing against them, like I'll probably end up using them in the future, but like I just before, like I... I, I was just like a normal player before I before people started actually watching my videos so I like I didn't feel the need to go to a treasure island uh, to get things like in a certain amount of time or whatever uh, but yeah I I had like I would like run turnip schemes with my friends which I like I said I'll explain in a video later but honestly one of the best ways that I've made money in this game is by having hybrid flowers on my island particularly hybrid blue and purple ones because they spawn really rare butterflies and it's just like a perfect way to make passive income especially now that the storage can be so big uh, obviously you have to pay for the big storage but like uh you all you got to do is just like every time you're out on your island doing something especially if you're like around flowers you're gonna spawn uh, a ton of rare butterflies if you're not in winter of course because as we know winter is only fun for like two weeks and then it sucks but anyways <laughs> just like keep a net on you every time you see like uh I, I can't remember their names but you know the, the the rare butterflies look look up which butterflies are the most expensive i guarantee that they spawn from blue and purple uh hybrid flowers and 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 catch them and save them save them for when for when bestie uh, flick comes to buy your bugs and and sell them and and you'll make bank i think like i just had a, a couple of butterflies in my storage and i like incidentally sold to him and i made like what like 100k just like randomly that was that was so easy to do oh my god i got so distracted talking about butterflies i totally missed the part where i used the storefronts to like make my house look bigger shout outs to isle of noyo uh for doing builds that look like this i they i've done it before like i had it on my old house but i just like the way that this version of it looks in particular where i have like one on the side and then one in the front uh, look there you go uh that was like a blue emperor or something or whatever i don't know but he's expensive so so keep your net on you it's way easier than like going underway to catch a fish you know especially if you're not like not good at fishing which no shame in that there's lots of things that i'm not good at in this world uh Animal Crossing fishing is not one of them. Stardew Valley fishing, on the other hand, I could never. Let's not even let's not even talk about that. Um, but I, okay, this is me building my crafting area so that uh, this is actually usable for me. <laughs> this is a functional house. It has a crafting area on the side. It has a small vegetable garden. I picked carrots as my one vegetable that I kept. One because I think that they look very cute and two as a reference to my grandma shout out to you grandma uh if you're watching this um whose nickname is bunny and also we have that adorable new uh bunny model in the game and i put that in the corner of the vegetable patch i also at one point had like a sign up that was supposed to be like rabbits don't eat these but i took that down and i replaced it with something else but the rabbit is still there and it's very adorable Ooh, here I am putting down some gorgeous stunning wooden planks to add to my workspace just to separate it slightly visually from the rest of the area and then I put down some clear tiles uh, in a second 
that I use to just like prevent flower growth in that area just so that when I walk through there I don't have to worry about or like if I run through it I don't have to worry about accidentally uh killing the flowers <laughs> or not killing them but you know like like running you know when you run through them what's that what's what do you, what do you call that oh my god we're moving the museum we're in the museum. In New Leaf, the flowers would die when you ran through them. They would disappear. But in this game, obviously, they just, like, lose their their petals or whatever. But, you know, since I'm going to be running back and forth that area, I figured I should just put some clear tiles down just to prevent any more excess growth. I have enough excess growth as it is. If I want more flowers, I can get them. I don't need them to be right next to my house where I'm running all the time crafting things. Uh, but, yeah, by the end of this video, I think that this field ends up being completely full. Uh, and I'm quite proud of that, to be honest. Like... This, this was a labor of love over the past two years? This game's been out for two years? Oh my god. Uh, of getting this many hybrid blue and purple hyacinths. Um, and I'm quite pleased with them. Even if they're not the real colors of lupins in real life. In real life, lupins are not blue. They are pink and white. Uh, my friend Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Um, her island is also themed after the place that we grew up in, and uh, she has pink and white and purple hyacinths, which are uh, factually correct, but I just like the aesthetic of the blue hyacinths a lot. I think that they're so pretty. Um, and yeah, here we are making my little carrot patch, which I think turned out super cute. I was struggling a bit because like the fence takes up so much room by itself, but I think that we figure it out in a second. I was just like going like one at a time, you know, I would, I would pick up some flowers, I would plant them somewhere else, you know, I would just disperse them one at a time very slowly. I was also, as I was doing this build, running out of storage and it's like the last storage upgrade before I, I max out with like 5,000. <laughs> not the one that I have right now, like I'm saying that I have to pay Thomas Nook a million, one million two hundred thousand bells and like I have that money but that doesn't mean that I want to pay for the storage upgrade. You know what I mean, besties? So yeah, that uh, I am procrastinating on that, uh, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done eventually, just not right now. That's not, not that's not my business right now. Ooh, besties, you know what is my business though? Um, first of all, I'm moving these carrots off the beach. I am planning a dedicated beach decorating series where I decorate my beaches, so be on the lookout for that. I'm super excited for it. Um, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm pretty okay decorating beaches. I know some people struggle with it, uh, so that is why hence the fact that i want to make a video about it uh because you know that's something that would be important or interesting information for you guys to watch uh remember my earlier dumb little speech that i made exactly Ooh, the other thing i was going to mention though speaking of my bestie chloe uh this is something that i mentioned briefly on a stream the other day that is now privated because y'all were roasting me in the chat i'm just kidding we had fun on that stream but i did private it because it was very very messy besties it was a very messy stream uh, <laughs> uh i mentioned my birthday gift that chloe gave me it's a stuffed animal of yamper and it's so cute i'm gonna put a picture right here oh i'll put the picture of that i took of, of it next to my roommate's uh kirby plushie where they're both like asleep it's the most precious thing. Also, it is like the perfect size for cuddling with. I already have like a sleeping Pikachu that I use as a pillow. And let me tell you, it has ruined my neck. Absolutely ruined. My neck is never gonna be the same because of this stupid pillow. Uh, but that's my own fault for using a stuffed animal as a pillow. Though it is technically designed as one. So I'm not completely wrong for using it in that way. Ooh, and I downloaded a new uh, code. Uh, we'll see if that stays. I'm just kidding. I, I, I do like this code a lot. I think it's really pretty. Uh, did I use it effectively in this build? Remains to be seen. But uh, yes, uh, Yamper. Uh, <laughs> he is, unlike Pikachu, who's like huge and like pillow sized, he is the perfect size to be cuddled with. Like he's so, it's like holding a baby and he's like, he's like full of like beans. Like, you know, those plushies that are just full of beans. So like when you shake them, they make like the bean noise. He's one of those and he's just so soft and like, I'm, I'm gonna admit, I were there were times when I was supposed to be working on this video in particular and I would just like crawl into bed and I would just like hold the amper and I'm like, I'm so relaxed and I'm just fall asleep. Um, that's part of the reason why this video took so long. Also just like, once I, I sort of got off of my schedule, I was sort of second guessing myself and like, oh no, I'm late or whatever. And, and then the combination of that and then I was having just the absolute best naps of my life, besties, just the best naps you've ever, that you could even imagine with this plushie that chloe sent me um that certainly did not help <laughs> the process of getting a video out oh making the um laundry area 
this is so adorable. I think that I kind of snapped with this. Um, yeah, I'm super pleased with how this whole hair area around my house came out. I think that it looks super good. I think that, uh, that if, okay, I mentioned this in the outro. Um, I don't actually remember what I said in the outro because I made that outro literally days ago. But uh, I said something to the effect of like, if I were to change things about this build, these are the things that I can immediately imagine me changing. And one of them was uh, the paths in this area because I like this like wooden thing like the wooden planks coming off of my house a lot and i use them on my beaches but they don't have like a horizontal version of that as far as i know if you do know besties please let me know in the comments um but uh i have to use the other code as like a horizontal version and i just felt like it was like very visually cluttered to have like two different wooden plank codes in that area but i also don't know what else to put there because I don't have space to have the path anymore. So I can't have like a dirt path going over there. I might use, I might extend the vertical wooden planks and then use the bicycle path going from the beach up to my house. That could be a solution. We'll see besties, we'll see in the future. You'll see if I, when I show this area again, updated. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention in the outro that I might change as well is I might just adjust the placement of the flowers slightly to make it, I don't know, more visually interesting. I wanted it to look very natural. So like there's like patches of blue and patches of purple where they like cut through each other. But I think that it's too like, it's too much like big chunks <laughs> in a, it'll, in some ways. So I may change that up in the future. And I didn't mention that in the outro, but uh, yeah, those that's add that to the list of things that may change. But like I said uh, before, and like I'll say again, uh, this build is super duper cute, and I really really like how it turned out. I know I say that a lot, but I think that this one is gonna stay. Watch me, watch me in like two months completely change this again and be like, ha, look at me two months ago, a clown, honk honk. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, here I am working on my picnic area. I had the same picnic in my previous iteration of this build i just moved it closer to the little river which i think is super cute like i'd come sit out by the river and read a book and drink some tea i wouldn't do that i'm not that i, I mean okay i do like to read i do like to read just not like i don't know it seems like a lot of effort to bring like an actual teacup outside look at all these butterflies that i caught in this video like come on besties get into it this is how you make money okay like don't worry about the stonk market don't worry about treasure islands just like plant some flowers and catch some butterflies and you'll be all set and that and that method works without using online okay as long as you can get yourself some blue and purple uh hybrid flowers you're all good to go you're welcome besties for that pro tip uh, but yeah you can see the sign honestly i kind of miss the sign i think the sign is kind of cute and having the rabbit on the other side because like he clearly is not paying attention he he doesn't know he's not allowed here uh but yeah that 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 was the intention of that little like do not enter sign may put that back we'll see i as we know i'm incredibly indecisive uh so all the little details of this build are subject to change but the big ideas of the build let's say that the big ideas of the build i think are going to stay uh but yeah i i also popped a lot of balloons in this video you're welcome by the way i know a lot of times i cut the balloons out but in this case since they were all so close to what i was doing um it was sort of like, oh, I just happened upon a balloon as opposed to like I run out of out of the way entirely to go pop it, you know, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, here I am. As you can see, this is the point where the the wooden plank situation is kind of getting out of hand. <laughs> and I still, is this how it ends up in the end? I don't even remember, to be honest. Uh, I was using like weeds to fill in the spaces and sort of fill it out without having flowers around so that I could run through there. Uh, I don't really know. Um, there's that wooden planks on the beach though. You saw them very briefly. Oh, here I am saying goodbye to my museum. I cried and then I struggled to wave goodbye to my museum because I was holding this stupid shovel. Uh, and you're gonna cut to after I moved it to the beach, uh, the, the beach on the other side of my island. But as you can see here, uh, the, the background no longer has a museum in it. So it's more, uh, it's more rural, it's more out of the way. Marshall is loitering on my property. You know, he sent me fake art in the mail. Marshall is honestly asking to be the new beau and it's concerning to me. As much as I talked about like, we're not doing drama right now. Drama is on a hold on, on hiatus. Uh, Marshall's behavior is concerning. 
Uh, I put those like little little uh, things there that they have like a picture of the sea on them. What are they called? I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter because they're very cute and uh, I use them there and they might stay and they might not. But you know me besties, it's, it is what it is. And I, I oh yeah, I, I time traveled one to uh, this beautiful, uh, I don't know what time of day this is. I think this is like early morning. Uh, I time traveled a day forward, obviously to move the museum and also to get some nook stop items, including more utility poles. Cause as we know, utility pole is the best item in the game. Congratulations, utility pole, you've done it. Oh yeah, I replaced that with um, the veggie basket and with the, the sack of, of soil or whatever. Super duper cute. I might put the little flowers there, you know, like the little tray of flowers. I have that at my house right now. It's such a cute item, I love it. I mean, it's no utility pole, but she's good, she's good. Oh yeah, and I was moving. Ooh, this is when I make uh, the bus stop for the beach. So uh, we're gonna have a public beach outside of my house. Uh, obviously that's not ideal, but I, no, I'm not gonna be stingy. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna let some people go to the beach, including Daisy May, who joined me for this last bit of building. Very sweet of her. Um, but yeah, I decided to put a little bus stop there so you could like get on the bus and come to the beach, uh, which is the thing that I like to do in the summertime. Uh, and I was suggesting that really quickly. I really, really love this road path. It's really beautiful. The community is so talented. Like, like I know that there's like tutorials and things about how to do pixel art and like I've, I've dabbled in making clothing codes before, but there's something about these like incredible path codes that people come up with, whether it's the path and all of its variations or like the road codes that could Colin and other creators make. Um, I think this one is by Origo. I could be wrong, but if, um, if, if I'm correct, then I'll also link their channel down below because I think I follow them on here on YouTube. But yeah, there's so much talent in the community and it's really the thing that like pushes this game over the edge for me for like, I really feel like I can, I can make something in it that's like super creative and fun and like put my time into it, if that makes sense. Uh, but I don't think I'm alone in that. I think that, uh, <laughs> I think that's, that's a lot of people's reasons for playing the game is, is is community stuff whether it's like youtube videos or codes or or anything of that nature just like seeing other people's builds and getting inspired by them look at that cute little yellow car i put i think i ended up moving that to like in front of my house but that's another thing uh bestie said i would change is i would put the yellow car back and i would put a different car in front of my house right now i have this busted car um with the intention of like oh i have to fix it but now that it's like my actual car, not just like a car that I drove into a field and left there, uh, you know, as you do, um, I might change it to a different color uh, and put the yellow car back in the street. Cause I just think it's cute. It's like, you know, they pulled over and they're taking pictures of my field in front of my house, which is not creepy at all. Um, totally normal and, and normal thing to do. I gotta put the, the, the puddle coat besties. You gotta have the puddle, very important. Um, but I put the lawnmower, like just like in front of Kiki's house, and I put um, this adorable Rossetti model, uh, and it's really starting to come together. I, I like the contrast of the yellow car and the red bicycle, and it makes me sad that I moved the the yellow car, but you know it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I should put that back, uh, and I also moved this as well so I could have the uh, the the crossing signal crossing crossing crossing. They did that on purpose. They did that on purpose. Nintendo, I see you. You're not slick. I got you with your crossing signal and your crossing game. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Wait, we're almost done with the voiceover. I just realized. I was doing this like in pieces to like make myself less stressed about it. So I didn't actually see how much I had left to record, but we're almost completely done. That's wild. Wow, look at me, a champion. Um, ooh, here I am putting this adorable little buoy next to my boat. I like the, the pop of orange. I think it's very cute, very nautical for Nautilus. We love to see it. Um, we're almost, we're almost done. This is so weird. This, I feel like this took me forever. I feel like it took me forever just because I spent so much time on this build. And like I mentioned before with like the, the, the fact that I <laughs> missed my Wednesday upload this week, I'm glad that I did because I'm much happier with this build than I would have been if I had rushed it. Uh, and I got, had time to like really, I wouldn't say perfect it, because like I said, there's a couple things that I, that I, and hypothetically I would change, but uh, yeah, the, I'm happy with, I'm much happier with the result of it and happier with what I'm able to show you. I put downloaded this adorable lifeguard sign, once again, linked in the description, uh, you know, no lifeguard on duty, watch out for, watch out for, um, riptides, very dangerous besties, be careful out there if you're, if you're by the beach, um, I'm not, I'm 
stuck inland in Atlanta, navigating cars instead of ocean waves, which, you know, it's, I love that for me. Though I, okay, I am, I am a bit of a city girl, but obviously, as you can see, based on my nostalgic rural Maine themed island, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm layered besties, I'm multi-layered. Uh, <laughs> um, as you can see, uh, a second ago we were, uh, adjusting the back of my farm area, just filling it out with trees a little bit more. We're gonna work on that area later. I have a great build planned. Uh, once again, another Ghibli themed build. Uh, one, uh, because I wanna do it and because I think it'll look good. And two, for the views and engagement and besties, obviously. Uh, like and subscribe, uh, but uh, I have another Ghibli themed build coming up soon. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything else about it, but maybe you can look out for that. It'll be behind my house. That's why I mentioned it. Uh, but yeah, we're almost at the end of the build. What am I up to? Oh yeah, switching out the car. Once again, why did I do this? I miss having the yellow car next to the red bicycle. That was really adorable. Um, Marshall is loitering on my property again, which I don't appreciate. Oh yeah, I put another flower right there, I think. Did I steal a flower from back there? Yeah, I didn't need to do that. I have extra flowers. I have, I have plenty of purple hyacinths, besties. But uh, yeah, I, I think I put that. Yeah, I put that there. And then I put the leaf pile next to it. There we go, perfect. Uh, yeah. Here we are at the end of the build and we're gonna jump back to voiceover me from like two days ago and you're gonna hear what she has to say. Uh, but thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm really happy with how this build came out and yeah. All right, besties, that is going to be it for today's build. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so pleased with how this build turned out. I think it's amazing. I love it even more than the way that my farm used to look. If I was going to change anything, I might experiment with having the fence be closer to the road. Um, but I also do like the way that it is with like flowers on both sides. And I also might edit the area near my front door a little bit just because there's so many different paths happening so it might be a little bit busy but other than that i i'm in love with this like this is so cute i'm obsessed and like i said i'm happy to be in springtime i'm happy to have grass again on my island and feel really compelled to work on it even more now. So get ready for a beach decorating video, get ready for a forest decorating video, get ready for all sorts of outside builds. This has really motivated me. I'm super pumped. Like you leave this video a like if you liked it. I certainly did. Uh, leave a comment, uh, hit, the, hit the little subscribe and hit the little bell to know every time that I post or that I go live. Like I said, I try to post twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays and I try to go live here on YouTube once a week. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on Saturday. I mean Wednesday, besties. It's Saturday right now. I'll see you all on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.